Three signs you're an eclectic witch. 1. You like to pick and choose from different paths. If you've already started on your witchcraft journey and explored a few paths, you may have come to discover some things you love about them. You may also have found some stuff you'd rather leave behind and not incorporate into your practice. That's totally fine. Wanting to scrapbook together your practice is a huge sign you're an eclectic witch. If no one path feels quite right, go ahead and pick and choose what resonates with you and leave all the other stuff behind. 2. You find yourself not fully agreeing with any one practice. Beyond the practices of a path, the other side of it is the beliefs. While the acts and systems might speak to you, if the beliefs do not, you find yourself turned off by it. And sure, if this seems to keep happening to you, it can be a bit discouraging. But have no fear. Eclectic witchcraft might just be your answer. Curating beliefs to form a unique system to me is my entire reason behind being an eclectic witch myself. And when I'm in charge of my own system, if my beliefs change, and they have, then I change my practice. I am in complete charge and I would not have it any other way. 3. You like to leave yourself open to possibility, perhaps you have a fear of commitment. Or maybe you don't like to get locked into any one thing because you know you change your mind a lot. Maybe the idea of throwing yourself into one path without any wiggle room around it terrifies you. Regardless of your reasoning, eclectic witchcraft does not box you into any of these corners. We all have the ability to evolve. Changing our way of thinking or discovering something new is an exciting part of being alive. And when this comes to something as personal and empowering as your magic cow practice, I believe it is important to be flexible and open to the possibility of revelation. You just might be an eclectic witch if this rings true for you. In conclusion, as an eclectic witch myself, I find comfort in knowing that I am in complete control of how I practice and what I believe even if that changes in a few hours, next month, or in 10 years. I like to think of this path as the buffet of witchcraft. Pick and choose what you're hungry for and leave that dried out dish that looks unappetizing behind. Are you an eclectic witch? Let me know in the comments.